Okay, so in this video we're going to start talking about unions of intervals. So we talked about unions um, of sets in general in an earlier video. Um, and remember, an interval is just a special kind of set, right? It's just a little subset of the real numbers. Um, so an interval is a special kind of set, so we can talk about unions of intervals. Okay, so remember, uh, let's recall the definition of union real quick, or the notation anyway. So A union B um, is the set of all X such that X is an element of A or X is an element of B, right, or both, right, so remember the or both is implied. So A union B is the set of all X such that X is an element of A or X is an element of B, okay. Um, okay, so it's the exact same thing with intervals. Remember, an interval is just a special type of set, so it's the exact same thing. It's just that when we find the union of intervals, there might be some simplification involved. Because um, remember, when you write unions, um, if you have something that appears in both the sets, you only write it once. Okay, so for example, uh, like 2, 3, 4, union uh, 1, 2. Right, so that's, uh, every, let's zoom in a little bit on that. So remember, if we want to union these two, then the answer is going to be uh, everything in here, 2, 3, 4, and everything in here, okay, 1, and then 2, but we already wrote 2, so we, uh, we're not allowed to write it again, we can only write it once, okay, so 2, 3, 4, 1, and 2, but we already wrote 2, so we can only write it once, okay. Um, okay, so it's the same principle still applies for intervals, it's just that for intervals, especially if we use interval notation, it, is, it gets a little more tricky, so we'd have to be careful. Um, but it actually, it's really, uh, it's much simpler if we draw a number line. So let's just do some examples here. Okay, so it's still the same definition, everything, the same concept of a union. We're just applying that to intervals now. So example one, let's say uh, A equals negative one to five, and B equals uh, three to seven. Okay, okay. so um, we want to find A union B. So we want to do uh, A union B equals what? A union B equals what? Okay. So to do this, um, it's really, it's going to be much easier if we convert these uh, to, or if we draw these on a number line. Okay, so draw them on a number line. So if we do that, uh, what are we going to get? So let's draw this negative 1 to 5. So actually, the way we'll do it, let's set up two number lines, one on top of the other like this. And let's sort of give them the same scale here. So we'll put 0 in the middle, 0 in the middle. Um, so this one, actually let's maybe not put 0 in the middle, uh, we can if we want, but just to make it easier on ourselves, um, let's put 0 a little further to the left. Okay, we can put 0 wherever we want, let's put it over here. Why over there? Because look at our numbers, negative 1 to 5, so let me draw those. Here's negative 1, okay, I'll put negative 1 over here, and then uh, I'll put 5 over here-ish. Okay. And then 3 to 7. So I want to put, uh, I want to have the same kind of scale, right? So 3 is between 0 and 5, so 3 would be about over here. So here's 3, and then 7 would come after 5, okay? So kind of sort of like this. Okay, so not really to scale, kind of bad, but the point is we just want to get the order right. Okay, so that's why I put 0 further to the left, because more of the action's happening farther on the right of 0. Okay, but again, we can set up 0 wherever we want. So if you want to put 0 exactly in the middle, that's fine. Just make sure that you have enough room to balance everything out correctly, okay? Now, why are we doing that? Well, let's uh, fill this in now. So, um, negative 1 to 5, so square brackets, remember that means uh, negative 1 is less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 5. So if we have or equal to, then that's going to be solid circles on negative 1 and 5. Okay? Solid circles on those guys. So our interval when graphed on a number line looks like this. Okay? When we draw it on a number line, it looks like that. And then this guy here is 3 strictly less than x, strictly less than 7, okay? So uh, open circle here, open circle here, we go down like this, okay? Okay, so now uh, the union, okay, remember that uh, the union is everything that's in A or B or both. Okay, so when we do a union of intervals, now this is imp why it's important to line them up like this. So now what we're going to do is look at uh, this here. So take the farthest thing to the left, okay, the farthest thing to the left, farthest thing to the right, and then drop them down onto a new number line here. Okay, so if we drop them down onto a new number line, um, well, what are we going to have? Okay, so start with the farthest thing on the left, which is uh, negative 1. Okay, what's the farthest thing on the right? Uh, 7. Okay, now what's happening in between? So in between, we want to get everything in A, everything in B, 
and also everything that's uh, in both of them. Okay, so everything in A or B or both of them. Okay, so if we get everything in A, what do we have? Well, if we get everything in A, that's everything from negative 1 to 5, including negative 1 and 5, okay? So that's going to give us everything from negative 1 to 5, okay? So here's 5, everything from negative 1 to 5. Now, what if we get B? That gives us everything from 3 to 7. Okay, well, sorry, 5 actually goes up to here. 5 is about up to here. Sorry about that. So yeah, that's why it's important to get the scale right, um, or at least, you know, get the order right and have the scale set up at least enough so that you know... Um, you know, what goes where. So negative one, zero, three, five, seven, so make sure we get the order right. So negative one to five gets, puts us from here to here. So negative one, five lines up with here. So that's negative one to five. Now we also want to get all of B. What's B? It's three to seven. Okay, so that's going to give us three over here and then seven over here. So that's everything in between, okay? But notice um, three has an open circle on it from this, but actually we already have three Okay, 3 is already filled in from negative 1 to 5, because 3 is between negative 1 and 5, so we actually already have 3, okay, because 3 is part of this interval A. Okay, so from negative 1 to 5, we actually get 3, okay, so even though 3 is technically not part of B, because 3 is strictly less than X, is strictly less than 7, um, 3 actually is part of A, so we do have 3 in our answer here, okay. So what do we see here? What is this? This is a negative 1 less than or equal to X, right, because solid circle strictly less than 7, okay, oops, negative 1 less than or equal to x, strictly less than 7, okay, because notice here we have everything um, from negative 1 all the way up to 7, except uh, we exclude 7, exclude 7, because we have an open circle on 7 from here, okay, so um, that's how we do it here, so just plot them out on a number line, um, and then get the farthest thing on the left, farthest thing on the right, um, and, uh, you know, just go along from left to right, so what you do is just go from left to right and put everything from this first interval down here, then plot everything from the second interval, um, simplify if you can, so like here we had open circle on the three, but we can sort of simplify or reduce or whatever that, we can do that, uh, we can make that a solid circle, because we actually get three from this first interval here. So even though three is not part of this, it is part of this, so we do have it in the union, okay? So here's our answer, but we want to answer an interval notation, so this is, uh, negative 1 to 7 like this. So negative 1 less than or equal to x, so square bracket on the negative 1, strictly less than 7, so open parentheses here, okay, and that's our answer, um, negative 1 uh, to 7 like that, okay. Okay, so again, to do the union thing, um, just uh, plot both of these, make sure you have like the same scale, uh, so put 0 in the same spot, then you line up everything, so 3 comes before 5, comes before 7, and so on. Put a line here farthest to the left, farthest to the right, drop it down into the union number line, okay, and then just put everything from the first interval, everything from the second interval, make sure everything lines up correctly, um, make sure that you include everything you need to include. So here, we don't include 3 from this interval, but we do include 3 from here, so watch out for that. And 7 is not included because it's not part of either interval, right? But everything less than 7 until we get to negative 1, uh, we do have that. Okay, so that's example 1 with unions of intervals. Um, we'll do example two in the next video.